Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be customizing the new Emirates, and the Emirates is a car that is 2.7 million. So, I don't blame you for reassuring that the car is worth buying or not. I'm here with three of my friends who have already customized their car. All I've done is change color, but now I'm going to get into the actual customizations. First of all, I must say that the actual handling of this car is amazing. I mean, you would expect that for 2.7 million. The car handles really nicely, it's really fast, and I'll do a drag strip later to compare it against other vehicles. But for now, I'll put it in LS Customs and see what modifications there are. So, I'll start off with exhaust. Let's see what exhaust they have. We have some square exhaust. It's a really a suit a four uh, sorry a 2.7 million dollar supercar but let's go for and I guess it is pretty it is pretty much a shame that they didn't go for the actual center exhaust they didn't they could have went for something a bit more you know they could have went for not the exact same exhaust but something along the lines of the center exhaust um hmm Go for that. Grills. Okay, so grills is more like splitters then. I think that looks pretty nice. So I want a bit more edges than just this one. It looks too basic. We'll go for that one. Livery. Let's see what liveries it's got. Mm, some simple liveries that looks pretty nice Some race liveries and I did forget to mention the side window on here like the actual center It's pretty cool, and it does smash as well So if you get a side impact if you get t-boned that window will smash Redwood again a pretty nice livery Alright, that's it with the liveries. I don't think I'm going to be putting a livery on this because I just want it to be a supercar. I guess these ones still still show that it's just a regular street supercar. Mirrors. We've got black mirrors. We've got carbon mirrors. I might just go for the carbon ones. Number play. Let's just quickly change that. Respray. Now... It's a really hard car because it is an exotic car. It's a really hard car to, I guess, color change. Might just go for a blue here, dark blue, with a pearlescent, which I didn't select. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty nice. So just going dark crew with a surf blue pearlescent. We can't change the roof color is what I've realized. I don't know if if that's an option later on. I guess it might just be. I've not checked yet. Roof. Oh, there we go. Roof is next. <laughs> and we got black roof. We got carbon roofs. Secondary color. But you can't get rid of the scoop on top. Um, again, hopefully that's another option that get rid of the scoop I just seen it on my friends cars that they had the scoop so I'm not too sure of that one let's see how much this sells for 1.7 million a million off of what you bought it for so I guess if you don't like the car you can sell it for a million less let's look at skirts the lighting's not so good in this garage but the skirts just look off they don't look like they're made for the car. And there's one that looks like it can chop your feet off. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go for any skirts on this car. It just doesn't look right for the car. It sticks out too much. Spoiler. I think we're going to stick with the original center spoiler. I uh, don't know if I could... Oh, okay. Here we've got like the Neurotype spoiler. Zintorno. 
And I think I'll go for the painted yeah, spoiler. Wheels. Let's go for some sports and we'll go. I have a wheel in mind that I want to go for. Oh, there we go. There it is. It does look pretty weird on this car. I don't know why the wheel gap is so big on this center. Hmm. And I actually don't think you can... I might go for chrome. And I don't think you can actually modify this car as well. I mean, lower this car, sorry. Modify this car. Um... Window tints, does it actually tint? Yeah, it does actually tint the side panel glass. So there's a, like a good reason to keep the car untinted. It do, like if you tint it, the side panel glass will be tinted too. So I'm just gonna try lowering it now, see if it lowers. I don't think it does, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. And as soon as we finish, I'm gonna do a drag race. Yep, and it doesn't lower. So, yeah, let's just get straight into the drag race and compare it against a few. So I'm here at the airport now with the Thrax versus the Emirus or the Emirus. I don't know yet what it's actually called. And we're just going to race it. We're going to see what the car actually does, how it compares to uh, the Thrax. So the Thrax is quite a fast car. It does similar speeds to the Neuro. So we'll see what it compares to the Senna. And it looks like the Senna is slightly faster. Wow, and that's really good compared, you know, knowing the fact that this, that turns corners really well. So, that car, I say, is the, the highlight of this car, the center is to uh, turn corners very well, and it does that and beats the Thrax. I'm just going to wait for my friend to open the car here. And we'll just do another run just to show that it's, you know, it's not the driver. So we're not doing any launches on this. We don't do any launches just because it makes it fair. Because the launches are not consistent. And there we go again. So... The Emirus, the Emirus, it's a lot faster than the Thrax. And maybe the fastest car in this game, you know, when you put it on the racetrack. It turns amazingly. That only span out just because I clipped the grass a bit. But, you know, even when you're in full speed, it turns like it's going half the speed. So if you guys do have 2.7 million to spare, I would say it's a nice buy it just depends on if you you know like the looks of it or not if it's worth i don't know how much money you've got if you've got over 10 million um then this car might just be the right car to buy so that's it there's my conclusion really thank you for watching the video guys see you in the next one